purely concocted style of martial arts fighting, the eight drunken gods technique. When people go to sleep at night, I'm still in the exercise room watching the mirror to decide how to become a drunken style. How can I get drunk? Then I lie down my head like this. Then I tell the cameraman, I'm rolling, standing by, then coming up. You know, the face all red, and you see it's like a drunk. It's very, very difficult. You have to pretend drunk, you have to pretend fighting, you have to do the comedy. Jackie was, for the first time, Jackie. He was uh, a bit of an underdog. He was somebody who engaged in as many pratfalls as he did in fighting. It was magic. It was absolute magic. It was a huge box office success. And from Bruce Mania, all of a sudden we saw Jackie Mania, and uh, Jackie had become a superstar. It almost happened overnight. Jackie was only 24 years old when the success of Drunken Master made him the biggest star in Asia. The studios began a bidding war for his talents. He made a groundbreaking deal with Golden Harvest. They give me the contract. One movie, five million. Oh, then I get the first million, a cash. I go to the jewelry store, I buy seven watches, all diamond. Jackie was buying cars and buying clothing and, you know, sending expensive gifts to his friends and, you know, really kind of acting like a jerk. Diamond watch, gold chain. Everybody, wow, Jackie coming. Yeah. Big shot in that time. I hate myself. Right now, when I look back, I really hate myself. I don't like myself in that time. Golden Harvest gave Jackie more than a huge salary. They made him his own director. From the very beginning, Golden Harvest gave him the freedom to do what he wanted. So he took it. Nine months to make one movie. Five days, one shot. Three minute scene takes a month. He would do one shot over and over and over again until he got it exactly right. In the Guinness Book of World Records, he has the record for most takes in a single film. And that was in a movie called Dragon Lord. And I think that was something like 2,900 takes. In 1980, Golden Harvest decided to send Jackie to America. Accustomed to star treatment in Asia, Hollywood was a humbling experience. Nobody know me. No English. I don't know the way around. No friends. For Jackie, being in the United States was like being in prison, almost. He didn't understand the customs, didn't like the food, couldn't really speak the language. Jackie had two weeks of English lessons before he started shooting The Big Brawl. He learned his lines phonetically. Then I find out the director, they don't care about me, they don't care about the fighting, they don't care about my acting, they only care about my English pronunciation. Rolling, action, punch, oh, oh good, 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 good. Dialogue, get rid of, cut, get rid of the gum. Okay, get rid of the gum. No, 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 cut. Get rid of the gum. Okay, get rid of the gum. Good English, good, back to the motorhome. They wouldn't let him be Jackie Chan. Again, they said, oh, another big kung fu star. Let's make him like Bruce Lee. It just doesn't work. Nobody like my jokes, nobody like my humor, nobody like this kind of fighting. And American audience really destroyed my confidence. So every time he made a bad movie here in America, it inspired him to make a great movie back in Hong Kong. After the big brawl in Hollywood, Jackie went home and made Project A. It features some of his most inventive choreography and includes his famous clock tower stunt, an homage to silent screen comedian Harold Lloyd. It was totally revolutionary. He added all sorts of interest in editing and filming techniques. It took him two years to do, but the audience went insane. It was the first real Hong Kong new wave movie. When Jackie went back to Hollywood in 1985, he was cast as a tough cop. Again, they don't want him to be Jackie. They want him to be Clint Eastwood. Again, as he says, it's not me. He goes back to Hong Kong and makes police story. In his own cop movie, Jackie created a complex character and unforgettable action. At the 
the New York Film Festival in 1987, Police Story got a standing ovation. At that point, he was the king of not just Kung Fu, but of all of Hong Kong cinema. So he revolutionized Hong Kong cinema twice, and it's because of the frustration. One of the reasons was the frustration of trying to get people in America to let him be him. And when we return... And his face is completely white. He's like, oh, the American way is better. <laughs> Meaning safety. Jackie doesn't want to die.